Hi, welcome to another Build Your Own ISO tutorial. We are now working on the ISO of Arco Linux D. So one gigabyte, which makes it faster for us to burn and to test. So we have already a little menu up here. It says Build Your Own ISO on Arco Linux D, the vision about it. And we've just made a tutorial how to just burn. And this is cinnamon. Uh, so if we end up in a black screen, so what do you know? Um, you need to install something to see if everything is working. So this is already created and the tutorial that's next is what if uh, no change is made, what if we going to change now the Arco Linux D packages dot both. So that's the goal. Now you go to Arco Linux D ISO, that's the way to proceed. You copy this one everything is still on my system so I'm gonna delete everything for you just clean it up ever so this one can go Arc Linux D builds is the one sorry is the one that is the result the ISO that we create is in there I have here a way to clean that up we need to be pseudo here because it's gonna be in root so this is your system from scratch how do you do it so um create folder that's the first thing i'll do and say we're gonna build arco linux inside this folder so there's no confusion no chaos and then we're gonna git clone control shift v wait till everything is down then you can close it and then we have here everything we need so <coughs> that one up here Previous tutorial was just run number 30. So we definitely going to run number 30, but first we need to do something. First we need to edit packages both. Uh, I have to look with a editor, Atom, Genie, Sublime Text, anything. And then if you to think what are we want, what do we want to do? Okay, what is our goal? I don't have a goal yet, so I'm thinking. Anyway, Arch ISO, I'm gonna keep off of all these guys here, Arch ISO, XORG packages, we definitely want to see something graphical, so XORG server and all the drivers for our cards, I'm gonna leave that off, off as well. You could change already things here, but that's not the intention of the tutorial, it's about the applications. So, okay, if you if in need for Bumblebee, put it in here but audio well do we want audio in our system do we want already out of the box audio installed why not you can decide to say i will not run the scripts from arco linux d let's go to that so what's in here you have here for instance mate i3 gnome cinnamon budgie awesome plasma so the question is What's your goal? Do you want to make, for instance, an Arco Linux D awesome? That's possible. Do you want to make an Arco Linux D mate or mate better, Eric? So these things are possible. It's whatever you want, but we are giving you the power to make an ISO any way you see fit. Okay, fine. What if um, we skip all these just for educational sake because we definitely want to go and scroll down to the application so if you say i want to have atom already out of the box installed chromium as well i like chromium mm -hmm. firefox yes no genie gimp okay inkscape okay like my melt fine Praga for the music, scroll to a little utility to make uh, uh, images, simple screen recorder, VLC, the conk, not that one, no, fonts, let's keep everything as it is, don't want i3, icons, whatever, well, whatever, not important. 
and you start selecting things that you want. Uh, okay. You're going to need the GNOME keyring to put your passwords in. You'll get errors otherwise. Same for Polgit and Polgit GNOME. If you update, you must be root. So there's this pop-up that comes. And you just arbitrary a little bit. Because that's what it will do for you is that you will learn. You will see things that, hey, what was happening? There's an error. Uh, this is not working. That's not working. That's because some of the elements are not installed. So we are just handpicking them now but you'll see that some of the things will not work uh, properly. Like that one and that one and that one and new fetch. By Mac as well, peak as well, screen key for my teaching. This is actually for the conkeys, but I'm not I'm not going for conkeys. And these are all Arco Linux stuff that we can get later if you want to as well. So who cares? So we have now a complete other list of elements that we're going to install. The, this list should include the elements that you say, I will install them anyway on any desktop. I will install them. So you have already a selection of software that you say, Okay, GIMP, Inkscape, always there. VLC, always there. Stuff like that. Even, um, you can even add, so we've added these things, but there is more to add if you say, for instance, like in the other tutorial of Arco Linux ISO, build your own ISO. I had added in utilities, I think I put it in here somewhere. So let's do the same exercise and say, look, I'm going to install Steam, Control Alt T, sudo pacman minus s steam, steam native runtime. That's the one I need also. Steam native runtime. Control Shift C and Control V. Nope. And it's gone. Steam native runtime. Was that the correct term? Native runtime. Native runtime. Okay, fine. Save. So we've added something. There's another, another thing that people, whoops, another thing that people like to add as well. Uh, people who work with um, YouTube OBS Studio is written like this with a dash. So I say in the O alphabetically, I'm going to add OBS Studio to my ISO. So that's already installed. Steam is installed. OBS Studio is installed. New stuff that was never on any of the ISOs of Arco Linux, but it is now. That's the power we give you. All right, just think enough exercise to show you how uh, you should proceed. We have not installed everything. Things will not work like the hyphen in, and the, the spelling in the dictionaries for LibreOffice. There's no htop, etc., etc. A lot of stuff that's not in there, but that's up to you. You decide what you want to have on the ISO. So packages both is done, saved. And all you have to do is now press number 30 and say run for it. So run, run, yes, 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 three times, yes. Run forest, run. And now we're gonna make an ISO with lots of elements already included, stuff that we want. So it's um, another way to work with this Arco Linux D. It's the minimal version and building everything up. And the other one was a maximum version and maybe deleting stuff. It's a different way to proceed, but it's 
okay whatever you do I think you'll learn more with this one with the D version and you'll see lots of more pop-ups coming like hey this doesn't work that doesn't work but that's how you learn and then you look it up in the arch wiki and say oh yeah I was missing this package and indeed it's hashtagged out so next time around when I build an ISO I'm gonna get that one as well so I won't see the error all this lib32 I'm guessing that's steam that's steam all right you see steam native runtime so all this stuff is needed for steam gonna cost us some gigabytes or megabytes oh yeah there are some problems here so we have the Arco Linux on github sometimes that's good it's in one of the videos because it was not in the videos of the Arco Linux build your own ISO sometimes it's um, not responding so traffic I suppose so you restart and the only thing you need to do be patient ISO building is never for the impatient people it's uh, really waiting and waiting and waiting until the ISO is finished and then you can start testing did it work is my solution the correct solution and then when everything works never change it again I'm gonna pause here and if there's an error I'll show you otherwise we'll end up with an ISO okay we've passed the checks here we are now at 848 packages so roughly roughly 200 less or 300 less than the one from uh, 2 gigabytes pausing again and at this point in time we are building the ISO all eight cores are working now 100% and we wait for the ISO to pop out and we're off making the ISO 1.5 gig already that's strange I thought I did not select that much but hey there you go so that's how it happens that's why we have a big ISO I did select Inkscape and GIMP and uh, Steam is there and OBS Studio is there but uh, 1.5 does surprise me so anyway doesn't matter as long as we have a beautiful system super f7 and we have here a new ISO to check out so go to your home directory article Linux D build arch ISO out this one that's the one we created start let's see what the result is let's boot Like so, as same as always, don't look in here, just move along. So, choose your language next, where you're from, and here change and change. Next, the wallpaper, the wallpaper, the keyboard, and then next, and then erase disk. Next, article Linux D, like so, log in, log in. Voila. next and next and the 1.5 gigabyte is going to take a little bit longer than the one gigabyte that we usually have but it will be installed and then we'll reboot and then still we have to decide what desktop to have because we did not decide that that's for another tutorial maybe but here we just said I want that application that's uh, already installed and then we'll see so we chose applications that are actually desktop independent VLC has to be there done yeah. Atom has to be there doesn't matter what desktop you use it just needs to be there so that's the decisions we've made now with packages both let's wait for it to install and there we are all done it says restarting okay now we have to decide huh, what desktop shall we install this time so last video which was cinnamon but first things first login okay then 
check out the fastest servers around you with Miro. So the downloads goes goes as fast as possible. And that's something we should do first. Next up is PKSYUA. Update the packages. A little bit more to update now since we've included Vivaldi as well. And uh, Trizen was there, Sadi was there, Pamek is here. So we have selected more packages in the packages of both. And if there is an update available, he'll get it now. Peak as well. Fine. So next up, we have to decide what we can um, use, what we can install. Meaning, you go to Arc Linux D. I can now decide to have an XFCE on Arc Linux D. Openbox, Mate, i3, GNOME, Cinnamon, Budgie, Awesome. Not Plasma and not Deeping. Not yet. There's nothing inside there. But we'll make them. Question is, of course, um, well, choose. Any of these are good. Okay. So, why not install GNOME, for instance? Arco GNOME. Now, what does it do? Number 100 here. Number 100 says install GNOME and GNOME Extra and enable the LightDM. And that's it. So, okay, we've made a decision. It's going to be GNOME. Let's do a control F already. Maximize everything. Gonna pause the video just to save some time here. So all updates have been done. If we do it again, <coughs> well, nothing is needed for everything is up to date. <coughs> Sorry. So GNOME, right? So you get Git. Hello, get all the codes from the GitHub. GitHub.com, Arco Linux, this is the D version. And then Arco GNOME. You get a complete folder, ls. You go inside, change directory. And then you check again. First things first. Here we want the four cores that we've uh, given to VirtualBox. We want them to use, so we want them to put to use. It will improve your building and your compression uh, during the installation. We'll move things along. And then number 100 is going to install GNU and LightDM. So we can log in already and that's all I will do. All the rest of the scripts you can run uh, yourself. So you start running for 100, 110, 120, 130, and so on, till the end. But let's just show GNOME, you know, how it looks without any tweaking, without any theming, without any wallpapers. Well, there will be a wallpaper. I guess there will be a wallpaper, but we'll see. Put it on pause again. Okay, <clears throat> I guess we won't have the GNOME backgrounds since the last line was remove the GNOME backgrounds, which I, well, have seen enough. That's why it's in there. Remove it. Now, let's um, sudo reboot and see what we already have. This is GNOME. With our own proper ISO and we'll have VLC, we'll have lots of applications, but which ones? So this GNOME wallpaper is not existent since we deleted the GNOME background and here are all the applications. So let's go over them. Yes, I did ask Atom to be installed. Bracero is coming from GNOME. Chromium is installed. That's good. Electron is part of Atom, Firefox is installed, GIMP is installed, Inkscape is installed, um, 
Those were my choices. Melt is installed. OBS is installed. That's new. Never done that in any tutorial. So OBS is there. Peak program. Simple screen recorder. The Steam is installed. We've done that in Arco Linux ISO. Build your own ISO as well. So that's not new. And we have the min stick, which of course does not look good, but it's there. And we have the tweaks to quickly change the look of our system because it's really ugly. What do we have already? Arc Dark. We have the Breeze Snow installed. We have ooh, lots of icons already installed. The image. Do we have an image? User share. B -b -b. Oh yeah, we did not install the backgrounds for Arc Linux. So, if you want to quickly have something as background, Termite is installed. sudo pacman minus s. Remember that we said, let's keep all the Arch Linux things out of here. But that also means that we don't have the wallpapers from Arch Linux. And if we install those, if he wants to retrieve the packages, Right, then say background, Arco Linux, Angel Girl, nice. We have something of a background, that's better. We zoom, we lock screen, um, extensions that we can do, fonts, Cantarell Bolt, Noto is already installed, Noto sounds regular. Like this one, 11 is probably big enough. Window title, interface, not all sounds regular. Now it looks like this. It's all up to you. You decide whatever your system, however your system should look. Windows. Well, already it's a much better look than it was a few minutes ago. So if we want to have a file manager, there it is. A little bit smaller. Open in terminal. Does this work? Yes, it works. Make your terminal a bit nicer with, 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 with some options. And the options are that one. <coughs> no. Uh -huh. Close. They changed it a little bit. Right mouse click, open in terminal. That's better. Now screen fetch, I don't know if we now neo fetch I mean. Did we install that one? Oh yes, we did. Doesn't recognize it anyway. Um, but it's working. This is Arc Linux D. Alright. So there you go. Um, we have now GNOME installed. Um, the, the, the main thing is that we've decided to uh, have a, um, a choice of applications. So we've chosen Atom, we've chosen Chromium, we've chosen Steam, OBS. All things are, these things are all norm, uh, new. We've added them, we've changed them in the packages dot both. And here's your USB stick uh, formatter. Weeks is still looking ugly, that's strange. But anyway, we have um, GNOME on our system and we can now continue. Of course, we need to continue working on our scripts. So we just ran this one. So we still need to run all the rest. All right, enjoy Arch Linux.